Good morning. I wanted to show you something really exciting in my garden. This is my artichoke patch. I've got several artichokes here, some different kinds that I'm experimenting with. I planted them just last year, so they're about a year old. And I love growing artichokes. They make these, you know, of course they make the, you know, their flower is edible and they make that, you know, big flower. But if you let that thing go to seed, it's this huge purple, like bright purple, like almost the color of my pants, lavendery, beautiful thing <clears throat> that the insects just really love. And I've also been planting the cousin of the artichoke, the cardoon, um, which is less well known for eating the flower buds, but more well known for eating the leaves and the stems. So they make a really yummy spring green and I'm excited to be growing these ones. They've overwintered here. Um, we did cover them once with a cloth when it got to a really cold temperature. I'm not quite sure what would have happened if, they, if we didn't. They might have still survived, but they're really hardy and um, grow really easily. And after they have grown for about a year, you can see right here, Let's see if you can see this. See, this is the mama plant here. And then it's made this little baby plant here. It makes a side shoot. So they just keep on making more and more of themselves. And you can prop propagate them vegeta vegetatively or just let them grow into a patch. And they don't need really um, high quality soil. They can grow in, in pretty um, marginal areas and on the edges of things and in, you know, in some harder, less nutrient dense soil. So yay for artichokes. It's one of my favorite perennial landscape plants.